Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G and it's Wednesday, July 27th. Tesla has a new product called Virtual Machine Mode and it is being deployed at an energy storage project in South Australia. Tesla has a growing energy division with largely unknown products such as Tesla Autobidder, Tesla PowerHub, and Tesla OptiCaster. Now Tesla has yet another energy storage product called Tesla Virtual Machine Mode. The product was revealed through Neon, the French energy company that owns the Hornsdale Power Reserve in South Australia. They announced that it has obtained approval to offer, quote, the world's first grid-scale inertia services through Tesla's technology. Now the purpose of the new product is actually quite intriguing for the engineering mind. During the traditional fossil fuel power generation, mechanical inertia exists that actually creates a stability buffer in a grid disturbance. The virtual machine mode addresses this by creating grid-forming dynamics that provide grid strength. Tesla has finally put an end to its unlimited standard connectivity internet connection included in all Tesla vehicles, which now has a new time limit that's been established. Tesla has offered internet connectivity for free, but as the fleet grew, so did the connectivity requirements and cost. In 2018, Tesla mitigated some of this by starting to require a new paid premium connectivity package for a monthly fee to access some of the more data-heavy connectivity features. Now Tesla has updated its website to specify that the standard connectivity is included for eight years instead of just leaving it open. And truth be told, eight years is a pretty long time. Strangely, it doesn't sound like Tesla planned to offer an option to buy a standard connectivity package after the eight-year period is over, and only mentions buying the premium connectivity after that point. But hey, at a current rate of $10 a month, the premium connectivity shouldn't be a big hit for the average Tesla buyer. Tesla is set to improve upon their range estimators in car. Range calculations are quite difficult, and improvements have already come into play from Tesla, including taking into account weather and elevation. And now it looks like Tesla is pushing it even further. The information comes from a notorious Tesla hacker known as Green, who often finds features in Tesla software before they are officially announced. Tesla is reportedly adding several other factors into the calculations, including tire pressure and even phone charging which should be quite inconsequential, but nevertheless, combined with the other existing features, Tesla is zeroing in on a very precise number. Tesla has confirmed that it expanded its own insurance product, which is based on real-time driver data, to two more states, Utah and Maryland. That makes 11 states total, if you count the almost finished California version, which is currently awaiting approval. Recently, Tesla has filed for insurance products in Florida and New Jersey, which undoubtedly will be coming soon. In October of last year, Elon Musk said that they want it to be in most states by the end of the year. U.S. Department of Energy has announced a conditional loan of $2.5 billion for Ultium Cells, which is a joint venture of General Motors and LG Energy Solutions. The loan will help finance EV lithium-ion battery cell factories in three states. The factories will be located in Michigan, Ohio, and Tennessee. These facilities are expected to create 6,000 construction jobs and 5,100 operational jobs when it's at full capacity. Also, the loan helps further the Biden administration's plan to have 50% of U.S. auto production be electric and hybrid by the year 2030. After teasing a sketch of its upcoming Honda Prologue electric SUV, which was co-developed with GM earlier this year, the Japanese automaker has shared new video footage documenting the design process and some never-before-seen angles. The video shows the international team using VR headsets to scope out the design of the vehicle. Honda says that more details of the prologue will come to light in the coming months. Now, if you ask me, I think that Honda is copying someone else's homework, because to me this vehicle looks a lot like the Hyundai Ioniq 5. I have to peer really hard to find some differences on the exterior. In today's community comment found on YouTube, a lot of you voiced your opinion on the battery ransom story from Tesla. It's certainly a unique situation, and one that I'll remind you ended with the customer getting his usual full capacity back, even if he technically didn't pay for it. This practice of Tesla is rather strange in many ways, but we are still in the days where automakers are trying to figure out what to do with battery packs. 
and in many cases how to make more money off of a battery pack. Case in point, take a look at the Vietnamese automaker VinFast. They have a battery rental program that still baffles me to no end. Here, listen to the breakdown of the battery rental program from VinFast. Okay, here we go. Vietnamese automaker VinFast has broken down its U.S. pricing for the VF8 and VF9, which include a two-tiered battery subscription that will be mandatory through the year 2023. The first two EVs to arrive in the U.S. will come with two separate trims, two battery pack options, and the two different subscription plans. One of the subscription plans is called Fixed, and the other one is called Flexible. On the smaller VF8, the fixed rate subscription is $35 a month, and that gets 310 miles of range per month, and then the drivers are charged $0.11 cents for every mile they drive past that threshold. This also incurs a $420 annual fee. The flexible package on the VF8 offers unlimited mileage, but at nearly triple the cost of $110 per month. There is also an annual battery fee of $1,320 minimum on this flexible plan. For the larger VF9, it has a larger battery and larger pricing. The VF9 fixed battery charge is likewise set for 310 miles a month, but with a 15 cents per mile afterward threshold. The fixed VF9 plan has an annual battery fee of $528 minimum. On the VF9 flexible plan, one can drive limitless miles for $160 a month and pay an annual battery fee of $1,920 a month. If that wasn't enough, after 2023, VinFast said that it will adjust the subscription proportions so that 50% of the battery is for rent and then 50% of the battery is for sale. These two vehicles have a starting price of $40,700 and $55,000 for the VF8 and VF9 respectively. And on a personal note, I really don't know where the battery subscription is going to fit in to all of that. <laughs> 